what, what impact does um, the approval of Epidiolex have on the way clinicians care for patients with tuberous sclerosis complex? I think with the approval that the FDA um, released last month, I think it's um, very exciting particularly for clinicians who care for patients with tuberous sclerosis because they have a very high seizure burden. And about two thirds of them develop drug resistant epilepsy. So it's a very um, difficult condition many times to manage and having Epidiolex now as um, approved for tuberous sclerosis and approved for a variety of seizure types, not just the focal seizures, um, that were, were identified and studied, and studied in the trial, but they also looked at generalized seizures and, and a variety of different types of generalized seizures. So, you know, it's really very nice to have Epidiolex approved and now that we can use it because TS patients have a variety of seizure types. Um, and it's exciting. Can you discuss a little bit of the novelty of CBD and why it's played such a huge role within the epilepsy community? Well, you know, it's been around for a long, long time. Yeah. Um, and I think there, it's interesting, and probably of all the compounds we've had, there there's the, is um, CBD formulations, which you can get that did not take the FDA route for drug approval and go through the regulatory process. Um, as a clinician, I have much more confidence and a compound that has gone through the rigor of an FDA process and the regulatory um, system and all the bars of safety and efficacy that are in place um, through the FDA and have that approval, that for me as a clinician gets me much more confidence and provides much more information in terms of guidance of how you take care of the patient if you want to implement um, Epidiolex or CBD into their regimen for their seizure management.